welcome to another unboxing video from theplayersape.com. My name's Alexander, and today we are looking at U-Boat, the board game. This is from Ironwood Studio and Phalanx Games. Um, this one was fresh off of Kickstarter in 2018, I believe. And it's designed by a couple of, <laughs> I think, Polish designers. I'm not going to attempt to butcher the names. So look them up. Um, this is a real-time, app-driven U-boat game. And it's one that you play um, cooperatively as the crew of the U-boat, and you're trying to um, evade um, destroyers, find your targets, take them out, that kind of thing. Avoid kind of disasters and things that are happening. So there's a lot of stuff here. Oh, this box is very big and very heavy. Now this is the Kickstarter edition, so there's a bunch of extra cool stuff in here. But if you just look on the back, it, you'll have a literal huge 3D U-boat with your little figurines moving around the boat trying to, you know, oh, this guy's going to go and uh, launch the torpedoes in the torpedo bay. This guy's going to go and use the periscope to kind of look out and that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Let's just crack it open to see what we have. All right. So here's, there's stuff in here that is... Kickstarter exclusives, and I think a lot of that is um, these extra plastic uh, pieces. And these are these might be resin, or no, they're very very hard plastic. So you have things like the engine, presumably. These are different parts of the. Uh, looks like this is kind of your sonar station where your sonar operator is going to go. Is, he, is this a. Looks like a. The mess, maybe? So there's different parts of the boat. We're literally going to put these out and. Here's, the, here's kind of the periscope. I'm going to sit there and look through pressure. These are, have unbelievably good detail on them. That's the nice thing about these. So those are, those are kind of to start with. Then you have some different bits and pieces here that are presumably going to go maybe a top. Looks like you've got your deck gun, which is again really nice. Looks like you've got a small machine gun here. These are, this is pretty delicate, I'll be honest. So I'm going to be very careful with these. Um, this is some deluxe plotting tools. De deluxe. These are actually really nice. This is a wooden, an actual wooden, um, what do you call it? Like a radial, is it a compass? Or a protractor? It's kind of a, it's not a protractor because it doesn't have angles on it. Uh, but these are your navigational tools. You got a little ruler here. This is for, I guess it does have angles on it. This is, we'll call it a protractor. Got yourself a nice wooden pencil. There's a, Kriegsmarine on it, which is nice. Got a, a rubber on the end. So that comes in into a little box. I think that's it. This is not a separate product. You need a copy of you. I think this may have been part of the Kickstarter. Unsure though. Rule book. This is a pretty hefty rule book for the game. Yes, it is. But it's sure this thing's 50 pages long, but the text is huge and a significant part of this is um, text and diagrams explaining how to put the submarine together. That's quite a lot of pieces. It's going to be a significant endeavor to kind of build it up and tear it down. And those pieces, these kind of the different pieces there, that deck, you're going to see you literally stick those on top. And um, all of those engine parts, the resin ones that were kind of separate, those will literally go inside some of these rooms. I think they're tokens in the game, but we're going to put those out instead. But it shows in detail, hey, this is... So let me see. Like, there is a navigator. This is the navigator's rule set. If I'm not the navigator, I don't have to worry about that. If I'm the chief engineer, here's all the things that I can do. And those are the things that I have to worry about. So the, the roles in this game are also very important. So if you want to play with a group and play over and over again, you can kind of specialize in your role, get really good at that, playing a few times, and then maybe switch over to someone else to learn something new. Tactical guide. Oh, 
Hannibal and Hamilcar little um, advert there for another of Phalanx's games. So, tactical guide, how to get started with it, um, just some advice about in this situation do this, how to like play the captain, what, you're, what you should be trying to do, um, how to be the first officer, what that means. As a navigator, what am I doing with this? How do I do So this is just a kind of a guide for newbies to get you started. So pretty uh, happy about that. I always like when there's, there's a game can get complex, right? And if you're trying to play cooperatively, you want to be do it well. And that helps you to do it well right out of the gate. So I, I appreciate that. That's nice. All right, that's a few bits and pieces. So we have here, our, this is tape shut. You've got the little miniatures and some other bits and pieces. We'll kind of crack this open. Ooh. All right. So this one are uh, the different figurines that go inside our boat. This is our crew. And these are different color-coded and shaped. And these are, if you kind of look at them, not the most detailed miniatures in the whole world, but this isn't really a miniatures game. So for what they are, pretty nice. I'm, I'm actually liking these. Each of them are different. But it's not like, this isn't like, oh, this is a miniatures game. This is just your little moving around on the board tokens. These are pretty nice. We have here a couple of little busts. These guys saluting. And then we have some smaller bits and pieces here. I presume these are Maybe enemy tokens, maybe they go on a map somewhere, not entirely sure. Because so, you have, if you look here, these are different ships. And this is this is a, a fleet of small ships and it has a little pointer on there. So you might have directional, but then you have a bunch of just little boats. And these are different types, so it looks like you have like a tanker here. But then you have like a small, maybe like a destroyer. More tankers, not, yeah, it looks like. And then some small little, tiny little vessels. So doing that looks like another an enemy submarine maybe. So those are cute little things. I'm gonna put those back in the bag so we don't lose those. And then it looks like we have another set of these that were already there. That's interesting. I guess we have an extra set maybe. We'll figure that out. Yeah these are exactly the same as those ones. These are actually, they're the same pieces. Well, that's weird. If you look at these, and I'm not sure, I don't know if you can kind of tell, this has this a purple hard resin plastic, and this is just all this softer gray plastic. You can kind of see the coloration there, but the identical outside of that, which is, I guess we just have doubles there. I'm not sure, I can't imagine you would ever use two of those in any way, or, they don't want to like to perform a different game function, so not sure about that. But those are, again, really, this is a, a very nice looking game. These components are unreal. Here's a bunch of markers. And these are different effect markers. So you have a, like a, the red fire there, for if it's a fire. I don't know if that little skull with a bunch of smoke coming out of it. Green, poison gas, something toxic leaking. These look like something broken, like maybe this is a broken piece, not sure. Difficult to say. This is it looks like a lightning bolt. Maybe this is kind of a, if it powers out or if there's an electronic current going through, not sure. And there's, a, there's just a bunch of those different pieces. A little tool chest. These are really cool. And these are more of that hard resin based plastic. You can kind of tell from the bottom there, these are molded individually. All right, we have a couple of these little um, go in the middle of the dials that join them up. Crazy. All right, what do we have? There's a ton, just a ton of cardboard <laughs> to wade through. Bag of bags, always enjoy that. There's a lot of pieces here that we're gonna have to take care of. All right, deck of cards. And this is a little bit disappointing in the sense that if you look at these cards here, this one just on top, it's kind of kind of knackered on the sides there, just from banging around in here. 
This did ship from Poland, so it's had a journey getting here to the US, but we'll be sleeving those so we don't ruin these any further or anything like that. The functionality of these cards is explained in the rules, but you've got cards for all the different um, bits and pieces. You've got the diesel engine room, section 5, the foredeck. I don't know if this is, if bad things happen here. A bunch of these different cards. Some different events and bits and pieces as well. Okay. And then, alright, this, this, what is this? Little Kriegsmarine bag with another pencil in it. Alright. I don't know if we use a bag in the game yet, but another pencil, that's nice. There's a ton of cardboard in here, like a ton of it. Ooh. Looks like this has already popped out of this board here. Alright. Let's pull this apart here. So, we have some little player board type markers here. So, if you look here, you have this is blue, green, black and white, or like, is that a brown white? And those correspond to these figurines, which had the same colored white bases. So you have brown, white, green, and blue. So if you're the white player, you have the torpedo man, another torpedo man, first watch officer, and the captain. If you're the brown player, you're gonna be these guys, green, blue. So I think, let's take a quick look. If this a uh, one to four player game. Let's just make sure. I don't want to overstate how many people can play this bad boy. Mm. Well, it probably says on the back of the box. Let's see. Mm. Well, look at that. It looks like you can play up to four players. That would make sense just from that. But if you wanted to split them up, I guess you might be able to. I'm not sure about that. So, this is more of your navigation stuff. So, this is a literal dial. And I think you'll be... Oops. Um, I don't know if you stick these together. And rotate them so you've got your contact course and your regular course. These are your navigation tools. U-boat course, things like that. And we have, these are some larger boards here. This looks like it's a board for the navigator. Maybe that's where we're putting those little boats, the little plastic boats that we found. Again, not entirely sure. Looks like this is navigation stuff though. And this one is for, um, let's see. That looks like that was probably for this guy, the first officer in radio man maybe? No idea. Could be the captain, who knows. This one's a bit more obvious. This is for the chief engineer. And this one. Oh, these are kind of color coded. This is the green one. This is for the. This one will be for the radio man, the helmsman, and the first officer, most likely. But these are just really cool. Great artwork. And then you've got your little tracks and tokens that you'll be doing with it. So that's really nice. This looks like it's part of the boat. Looks like that goes right there. Which is good news for us, because it's kind of punch nice and easy. Here's a few more cards, some more of these events. And I, it, these ones are gonna go on, which board is it? Uh, is this one here, probably gonna be putting these, these match up to these decks. Orange, yellow, orange, and red. That might be crises that kind of go up. Red has things like um, catatonia, claustrophobia, the other one had like mutiny, things like that. Orange ones are maybe not as bad, yellow ones not nearly as bad. And then these are secret cards. They might be secret orders, which are going to go on the other decks. So these are for the different players. Different players have different decks of cards that they're going to be leafing through, trying to make it all work together. Alright, some more. Gosh, there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> that's just a ton. So. Remember we had the deluxe navigational tools. These are literally made of wood and are very nice. These are the cardboard versions. These are a few pointers and dials, which we're gonna put on some of the different boards and play aids. If you look here, these have a little punchable part in it. So you're gonna end up putting some of these dials on there for your depth and your speed as well. So that's that can be the helmsman adjusting those. Uh, some of just markers, 
which I don't know if I think these are your crew markers if you don't have these deluxe figurines. The little shapes match up with the shapes of this, the bases of the figurines and the colors, which also then correspond to this little aid to tell you blue pentagon is the first officer, blue triangle helmsman. So if you don't have the figurines, blue triangle helmsman, blue pentagon first officer. Double sided, nice and easy. Bunch of these tokens, which those match those big um, statue little busts. And these are just, I'm like picking these up, things are falling apart here, which is nice. I don't know. <laughs> these are pretty cool, I'll be honest. So much of tessellating little pieces. I wonder what these do. And they have numbers and shapes. I wonder if they spell a word on the back. Oh, it's a bunch of letters on this side. I wonder if that's for cracking code or something. That's pretty cool though. That might be like a mini puzzle within the game. Uh, so these have that same symbol on as these ones. But these guys have on the back of them different mechanical symbols, lookout symbols. So that's interesting, those probably serve a different function. I wonder if we pull those and those are in a random pool together. Looks like we have a hatch. More of these tokens, just a bunch of different things. So these ones, the little kind of, I'm gonna call them hazard markers. So we're gonna replace those with these kind of resin pieces. Those are the upgrade from the Kickstarter. And then in here we have a whole bunch of paper. All right. Interesting. Ooh, this is nice. I like this. Excellent. So there's four of these. This is the setup diagram for the navigator. You have a navigator's board with all of this cool stuff handy. The first officer, this board, all of this stuff handy. And they have oh, like an identification cheat, an enigma code cheat. Oh, that's awesome. I wonder if we have that stuff here. We'll probably make some photocopies of this stuff. Yeah, so identification sheet. So you might see this thing. Oh, this is a, um, a black swan class sloop. But you might see it from a different angle. So you have to look at this sheet to say, oh, this is what this is. A town class destroyer. Looks like you got illustrious class carriers. So there's some there's some pretty cool stuff that you can find. Or well, you got some boring coastal fishing vessels. Those are the small ones. So there's a couple of those sheets. Oh, and on the back you have a bunch of um, civilian freighters, merchant, navy kind of stuff that you'll be seeing as well. So there's a couple of these. So you don't have to use them immediately, but you'll want to be photocopying these pretty sharpish captain's log. Where you're going to detail what you found, what you were doing. So that's cool. This is the Enigma code sheet. So presumably you'll be trying to intercept messages or you have to send messages. So you have to figure out what on earth the, your orders need to be. So that's pretty dope. Looks like there's actually a lot of game in this. And this looks like, looks like a map. So you have, this is Atlantic Ocean. And this is more of, um, uh, North Sea, English Channel, all that stuff, Irish Sea over here. So there's a bunch of those, like a bunch of those, but again, I'm sure we'll be photocopying these pretty sharpish as well. And then the last thing in here is the submarine. This is the U-boat. Ah! Okay, when I, when I picked it up, it just kind of <laughs> fell out of this one. So there's some of these, there's not a lot of cardboard here, but on the edges, so it's kind of kind of it's all coming apart, which is good news for us because it's nice and easy to punch and it's nice and easy to put together. Uh, we're going to definitely use those instructions that were in the rule book, but a lot of these you kind of punch the slot out here, and then you're going to have kind of a vertical piece that's going to connect in there. This looks like it's the top deck. There's a hatch right here, so we might be able to at some point. Ah, and here's a little round bit. We're gonna put our little deck gun on there. That's so cool. So you, you literally, before you even can play the game, you're gonna <laughs> build this pretty significant 3D model of a U-boat, which has, this is kind of the central for 
uh, part of the ship. You can see the torpedoes in the torpedo tubes. It's just so cool looking. So, <laughs> we're going to have some fun building this thing. And I presume set up and take down is going to be kind of a bear because you have to take that down to put it back in the box unless you just want to have it on display on top of a shelf or something. But as you can see, there's been a ton of stuff in here. And if you got the Kickstarter, you've got all the extras and things, you're going to have a, a completely pimped out game with all these plastic pieces moving around. But even without that, you've got all these nice tokens to help you um, do all your moving around. So the, the crux of this game, though, and we didn't really talk about that, is... Um, there is an app, and you're going to have to load the app. It's free, but the app is going to basically generate what happens. So it's like, if you make contact, here's what you make contact with. And what we'll do is I'll, I'll get back to these uh, the ship identification sheets. This is really important because these pictures, so this is kind of your, your profile, um, and then you have your end on here. So. Or, or various different degrees of how they're looking at ships. So the app is going to show you when you up Periscope, you might see this. And you have to then consult this chart, figure out what it is you think it is, and that might you know, change your tactical decisions. Oh, is it you know a super big one that we need to go after, or is it a lesser ship that we like, ah, oh, we don't care as much about that. So getting familiar with the pictures of them, and you can see, some of these are pretty similar, <laughs> so you're going to have to like really consult this chart to make sure you have identified your target correctly. Uh, but that's, that's a big part of the app. The app's going to throw things at you, tell you what happens, um, where these ships are, so you can navigate towards them and their movements, things like that. So you do have to have a companion app for this. It's free. You just download it. You could download it right now, even if you don't own the game. Um, but that is something to take note of. You want to have an iPad handy or um, something that can support that and you keep it charged, keep it plugged in because you're going to be using this for the whole game. Um, so this is U-Boat, a game that Grant and I are incredibly excited for, have been since it was on Kickstarter. It was very, very exciting. It's a co-op game, but it's a, a, it's a tactile, visceral game. So this is one that we're going to play very soon. And appreciate you guys tuning in. And I've been Alexander from theplayersaid.com, so thank you very much for watching.